Hello, I would like to show you uh, a computer simulation made for and by scientists and I will explain this to any 10 year old kid so I won't use many complex words Alright, so it's a computer simulation so this is the piece of nature, it's in Spain, it's in Europe where it's about and what we see in Spain is that there are, it's a barren landscape and you have these bushes and these bushes when they are there they facilitate that means they help other plant species to also grow there and this scientist she's she's also an American she's interested in the effect um, of that so let's take a look at the computer simulation it's immediately starting and I will change uh, some things for example let's say instead there are zero nurse plants so what we see here is that this is the area that uh, that plants grow and at the moment there are there are three types of plants there are green plants which are bushes which host uh, which help other plants to grow there next to them there are blue plants which are facilitated which means they are adjacent to a nurse plant and the red ones they grow in the, on the barren soil so let's add one nurse plant it's a so there it is so that means it's there and adjacent to it it helps other plants grow because it helps uh, it, it it keeps the soil uh, for example it contains water in the in, in its root system so other plants can profit from that right and there's also evolution and mutation in the simulation so what I'm going to do is this is a graph in which let's make them equal which tells you for which trait, so this means trait value, so it, in this case the trait is for example drought resistance. So the, geno the genome of the plants, its genotype, its uh, trait, its drought resistance, if it's at 0.5 it has the highest fitness. And here we see, can see a graph of how that evolves in time. So let's go to uh, restart it again. So let's take the initial conditions. So you see that initially the trait is 1. And we know that the best trait to have is 0 0.5. Let's take a look again. 0 0.5 I said. Yes, 0 0.5 is the best trait to have. If you have 0 0.5, you're at the highest fitness. And we can see that whatever I choose as initial trait, it will always go to that 0.5. So here's about here's 0.5. If we set the initial trait to zero, it will also evolve to that 0.5. But at the moment, it doesn't matter yet if a plant is facilitated or unfacilitated, if it's next to a nurse plant or not. There's no fitness difference in it yet. So what I'm going to do is if I'm going to make the fitness value of the facilitated plant. So a facilitated plant, that means a plant next to a nurse plant, um, can will have a lower uh, drought tolerance because it's a sh because it uh, adapted to grow next to a nurse plant. It grew to be it, it adapted to be um, nursed to be next to a nurse plant. But what we see now, if I, if I run the simulation again, is that still it goes to this fitness value of 0.5. Why would that be? Well, that is because there are only a couple of spots that are adjacent to a nurse plant. So although it would be a good idea uh, to have this, a low trade value, um, that only is the case when you're next to a nurse plant. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add more nurse plants. And if there are more nurse plants, then we expect that because now at this moment there are more spots next to a nurse plant than without a nurse plant and now the trade value goes to 0.2 which is the optimum for plants that are uh, next to a nurse plant which are facilitated so this is in a nutshell um, what we are interested in so what's the effect of 
the genes on having a nurse plant. You can imagine that, let's say that plants evolve to, like they assume to be next to a nurse plant, that they will lose their rot resistance because there are plenty of nurse plants around. Well now assume that thanks to um, climate change that the nurse plants go extinct. That means if the plants that count on these nurse plants being there, that are adapted to having a nurse plant, will also go extinct. Hey, it's called, um, so then you have, instead of one, you have two plants gone extinct. So that's why this is a, a, a project that uh, the scientist is working on. So I hope I didn't use too many difficult words and that you could follow uh, what I was telling. And I wish you a very good day. Bye!